Hi, my name is Torres now. Welcome back to Christmas Talk. Today I'm going to be talking about the non-destructive force of nature that is called a tornado. A tornado is basically whirling winds that goes around and around till it touches the ground from a cloud. Then once it touches the ground, it's classified a tornado. So first, how is a tornado formed? So, a tornado is formed by special thunderstorms called supercell thunderstorms. So, a supercell thunderstorm starts off with a bunch of lightning, thunder, and rain. And then, when in the top air, the um, cold air on the top, since cold air is heavy, I explained in the wind video. If you did not hear it, check it out, it's up there. And then, come down, the, it starts sinking down. And the air, and the hot air, starts going up because it's more lighter and more colder. It goes up and forth, and then they meet at a certain point. And then, it's not good when these two airs meet for us humans because sometimes then it starts creating a upper funnel cloud that starts spinning and spinning towards the end and it starts going down and if it goes down to the ground and touches the ground that is called a tornado. Tornadoes usually, usually happen in warm times like summer or spring. Right now it is spring. However, I'm in Michigan, if I, as I told in the introduction. So, Michigan's not really that um, common in tornadoes. So, once a tornado forms, it's almost undestructible. Now, there are five, um, six types of tornadoes. The first one is called the EF0. And EF0 is really no harm. Maybe you should just trim the branches off your tree so it does not hit any vi so it does not hit any um window and break it so if there's no tree near you you're totally safe inside your house uh, one time i was caught in an ef0 tornado but it was so weak it hovered over a car really nothing happened i was chased by two tornadoes once and they were all weak ones they were all ef0 no power next ef1 ef1 is kind of dangerous not at all dangerous though actually um it's pretty weak too it's just a weeny bit powerfuler than the within the ef0 so maybe they can like like um try to like if you close your windows in a house you're totally safe ef2 is where things start getting a bit more powerful an EF2 can rip a roof off of your house or your apartment or whatever. And EF2s get stronger when they turn into an EF3. And that's where the real commotion begins. So EF3s can rip the entire top part of an apartment, a condo, or a house. That is really not good for people who live in the upper part of apartment or, or in the upper part of their condo or house. So EF3s are way dangerous than EF0s, EF1s and EF2s. Since that is the fourth one, EF1. So we had talked about EF0, EF1, EF2 and now EF3. Now we have EF4 and EF5. The sixth one, EF5. So EF4 is also really dangerous. EF4s can lift up how uh, lift up um, lift up buildings entirely, a mobile home completely destroyed, and cars flying everywhere, and a big things that we don't want to happen. And oh, then if we when we go to EF. Five, it's the most powerful of all and it's the most rarest. So, EF5, when there's an EF5 tornado, it can lift the whole train off its track. It can lift it. It can lift the whole train track itself. It can lift apartments and houses totally off. It's a really powerful destructive force in EF5. And its wind speeds go up to 190 
are more kilometers per hour. That is a lot. I will be making new videos on different natural disasters. So make sure you look out for those because they can be even better than this one. Okay, so continuing with the topic of tornadoes, there are some sad histories of tornadoes that happened in the past. So the first one can be the Joplin tornado. So the Joplin tornado happened in the city of Joplin. It was a very big EF5 tornado. It killed 300 or more people and it was not a good thing for Joplin. But something that the people in Joplin knew was Joplin, the city, was not just buildings and houses. It was the strength and bravery they had. So it's not that sad, but still people died. So that is not good. And then some other tornadoes, most of the tornadoes really happen in Tornado Alley. And Tornado ha Alley contains of some like some states like one of them is Kansas and Texas and then there's Oklahoma and then there's the North and South Dakota and then there are also more ones like Iowa and Colorado but there are more states that I cannot explain but I remember that there those are a few of the tornado alley states so a tornado alley is a Full of tornadoes in the spring and summer but see it's not really that it's not really that easy because if you just think more tornadoes are in tornado alley that's not true because tornadoes like the whole u.s and they, some go over sea they are called water spots they are not really any, that powerful so if you want to see a video about hurricanes then that will be posted up next I hope you liked this video. Bye bye, make sure to like and subscribe.